Today's guest is one of this country's leading authorities on the Kabuki theater of Japan. Professor Leonard Pronko began his study of Kabuki in the 1950s. Since that time, he has spent many years in Japan taking private lessons from his teachers and studying in a structured program organized by the National Theater of Tokyo. In part one of this program on Kabuki acting technique, Professor Pronko highlights some of the basic conventions of body posture and movement for actors of male and female characters. <laughs> Kabuki, the flamboyantly theatrical popular theater of Japan, grew in response to the increasing importance of the townsmen and merchant class in 17th century Japan. The characters used to write Kabuki are a kind of definition of the theatrical form. Ka, song. Bu, dance. Ki, technique or performance. Kabuki is a total theater a performance which uses all the resources the theater has to offer. The kabuki actor is a total actor. His training begins as a child of four or five, and he makes his debut at the age of six or seven, reaching finally his zenith as an actor at 40 or 50. Mastering Japanese classical dance, which is the foundation of all kabuki movement, and various styles of classical singing and chanting, which form the basis of vocal delivery, the kabuki actor is at all moments a dancer and a singer. Unlike the musical comedy performer in the West, the kabuki actor synthesizes all the theatrical arts and must excel in all at the same time. Traditionally, the kabuki actor was born into a kabuki family and slowly absorbed the aspects of his art, living and performing in the theater for 10 to 15 hours a day. In 1970, the National Theater of Japan opened a training program in Kabuki in order to bring young actors into the Kabuki world. In a two-year concentrated program, the student is expected to learn what is slowly absorbed by traditional learning in 10 or 15 years. The Japanese are discovering that intensive, systematic pedagogy can give faster results than formerly believed. Obviously, within the space of an hour or so, we cannot hope to master the complex movement and vocal patterns and techniques of kabuki. But we can attempt to understand some of the fundamentals of this art.